Hello children, I'm Liz from Rawns. Our story today is called The Walk to Emmaus and it follows on from our story last week when we heard about Jesus dying on the cross and coming to life again. On the third day after Jesus was crucified and put in the tomb, two of his friends were walking along a road out of Jerusalem. One of them was Cleopas. They were on their way to a village called Emmaus, which was about seven miles out of the city of Jerusalem. They were talking about the events that led to Jesus being put on a cross to die. And as they talked, a man came along and walked with them. The stranger asked them, what are you talking about? They stopped and stood still, looking sad. Cleopas asked, are you the only person in Jerusalem who doesn't know what has happened? What things? asked the stranger. Jesus of Nazareth was handed over by the chief priests to be sentenced to death and they crucified him, the friends explained. We hoped he would save us. But then, this morning, when some of our women went to the tomb, It was empty. His body was missing. Some of our friends went to the tomb to see what had happened and it was definitely empty. How foolish you are not to believe what the prophet said would happen many years ago, said the stranger. They told us the saviour would have to suffer before rising to glory. Then the stranger explained how first Moses And then other prophets had written down that the saviour of the world would die and rise from the dead. As they approached Emmaus, the stranger looked as if he was going to travel on further. So they invited him to stay with them and he agreed. As they ate together, the stranger took the bread. He broke it and he gave it to them. Immediately, God allowed the two friends to see who the stranger was. Yes, it was Jesus. At that moment, Jesus disappeared from their sight. Weren't our hearts warmed as he spoke to us and explained what is written about the Saviour? They exclaimed. They got up and they rushed back to Jerusalem at once. But when they arrived, the eleven greeted them with the news. Jesus has risen. As they all talked excitingly together, Jesus himself joined them. He shared their meal and explained to them all the wonderful things he had told the two on the road to Emmaus. Let's pray together. Dear Father God, thank you that you didn't leave Jesus' friends in a sad place when they saw him die on the cross. Thank you that they got to see him alive again. Please help us to remember that Jesus is alive still today and he's always ready to help us when we talk to him. Amen. What parts of God's big story did you think about today when you heard the story of the walk to Emmaus? Perhaps you're reminded that God loves you and that he sent Jesus to die for you so that we can be close to him again. And that God promises that one day everything will be made good.